Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about the biggest story of the day and perhaps the biggest event we'll see this year, besides maybe the presidential election coming this November. But if Trump wins re-election as expected, that could turn out to be a landslide easy win that will bring focus back onto this current crisis going on. We all know what I'm talking about, this health scare we're dealing with is pretty prevalent, and in our time of need, some have finally stepped up to help. We're going to be talking about a couple of those heroes today, and also, and more Interestingly, we're going to be defending them from their detractors, usually liberals and Democrats, of course. For example, our first leader to give a shout out to today would, of course, be our sitting president, the American leader and patriot, Donald J. Trump. He's been doing a fantastic job leading us all through this terrible situation. Trump started restricting travel all the way back in January, which was also when he started a new task force specifically aimed at working on this issue. Then, more recently, Trump and the Republicans helped push through a $2 trillion economic stimulus bill. This will not only provide all Americans and residents with direct financial support in this dire time of need, but also the stimulus package has a number of additions and expansions which will help the unemployed and small businesses too. But the right didn't get this bill passed without a fight, mostly coming from the left-wingers, of course. Vile Democrats like Nancy Pelosi, they refused to pass this relief plan unless they could also squeeze in other things like raises to the salaries of representatives like herself and also, a $25 million grant was given to the Kennedy Center for Performing Arts, who recently got caught laying off their musicians despite getting this stimulus package. Yes, Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats have become kind of overly confident and brazen and rather disrespectful too, as they try and use this dire medical outbreak as a way to push their own agendas and as a way to attack their opponents too. That finally brings us to today's news story, where we have yet another hero, the creator of My Pillow, and he's stepping up to help our country now too, even though he obviously has no real need or obligation to. My Pillow is a very successful private American business in our country, known for making high quality pillows, of course. They started all the way back in 2004 and have become pretty famous and somewhat of a household name, mostly due to their aggressive TV advertising. And for the record, me and my family have used their products for years, and we've always been completely satisfied and ecstatic about them. And I'm not being paid to say this either, but it is worth pointing out since a lot of attacks have been levied at this company and its leader right now, believe it or not. So before we even get into that, it is worth stating they make great products and help people sleep well all over the world, and that means something. And in addition to that, MyPillow has also decided to help the world even more now by diverting a large portion of their resources into making more medical masks, which will protect us and medical professionals from germs and illnesses in this bad time where we need them and they're running out constantly. With that said though, you might be asking, why is the left and the mainstream media coming after this MyPillow guy so hard? Well, it's for a couple of reasons, none of which are legitimate or hold any water though. Really, the left just hates Trump, and that's the first and main reason. Their Trump derangement syndrome has gotten so bad, they're attacking the president and all of his associates as Trump's crew tries to help us through this disaster. Pretty ridiculous. It would be like if the reporters in the movie Armageddon started attacking the guys going into space trying to stop that asteroid from hitting the planet. Sure, it's a bit of a more dramatic analogy, but it does get this point across. Because in the real world, although we don't often get to deal with world-ending apocalypse-inducing threats from outer space, we do have to deal with the fast-spreading health problem now that could injure or kill as many people if we didn't do something to stop it soon too. President Trump and his new ally, the My Pillow guy, they are the ones stepping up to help now then. And all the lamestream media and the Democrats can do is try and tear them down. And really, they're being part of the problem while we're all the solution. For more details on this story, let's turn to an article called Mainstream Media Mocks White House Appearance of My Pillow Guy Mike Lindell Despite Contribution. Check this BS out. Lindell, who was among several business leaders leaders who spoke at Monday's presser announced that his company is aiming to increase its production of cotton face masks from 10,000 to 50,000 per day. He also said a prayer and encouraged the country to dedicate time to their families and religion. God gave us grace on November 8th, 2016 to change the course we were on, the pro-Trump businessman said. God had been taken out of our schools and lives. A nation had turned its back on God. I encourage you to use this time at home to get back in the Word, read our Bible, and spend time with our families. However, critics from various news outlets mocked Lindell's appearance at the Rose Garden. 
Wow, just wow. Liberals really have no shame, huh? I know if the shoe were on the other foot here, I would certainly let this go, all things considered. For example, if a Hollywood-type celebrity liberal came to the White House promising to have one of their companies start producing, say, hand sanitizer, well, I would easily be able to accept that generous contribution without having to bash the celebrity because I disagree with them politically. They could even say a few things about their religion there, too, like, say, dropping in some Jewish references or something else, like Scientology. And that would be weird, but it would be all fine and dandy too, considering how much they're going to help. I would just be grateful and happy for the help and not feel the need to attack them, even though we might disagree. But the left doesn't operate that way at all. They have no shame. And here they're clearly out for blood too, and about to bash the My Pillow guy, Mike Lindell, for not only mentioning God and his religion, but also they clearly see this as a sort of promotion or advertisement for his company. And to the latter point, I say, so what? First of all, this is hardly the biggest promotion or advertisement advertisement, although admittedly it is a good look for the company. But this positive attention is well deserved, and it's not happening for no reason. It's happening because MyPillow is stepping up and changing their business model in order to help the country in a crisis. With that said, it makes total sense that the president would have a press conference with and be publicly thanking the guy. It's the least we could do, and I'm sure other companies and private citizens would have the same treatment if they decide to actually step up too. But instead of helping or at least supporting the people who are helping, well instead of that, the Dems have opted to become negative Nancys, naysayers, and party poopers, and bad actors to boot. Speaking of actors, maybe some of those celebrities who keep acting like they care on social media, well, now's the time to actually step up and do something. And I'm not talking about posting selfies and making cringy sing-along videos. Now the Hollywood elites should be making donations, taking in displaced families, donating supplies, or even getting on the front lines and helping at hospitals, testing people or something. Basically, the liberals need to put their money where their mouth is. Because right Right now, all we're seeing is people like the My Pillow guy stepping up, and since his show of goodwill makes the left look like lazy assholes, well, that's the reason why they're lashing out at him now. Trump just called the My Pillow guy up to the podium in the Rose Garden. You cannot make this stuff up. MSNBC anchor Ali Velshi reacted. Morning Joe co-host Micah Brzezinski tweeted, "Is that the My Pillow guy? Do I need to turn the volume up? I was waiting for the doctors. The My Pillow guy was at the briefing today. Boy, oh boy, do we need SNL this Saturday? If this had been an SNL." skit, we would have thought it was fake, right? You can't make this up. Who is going to play the My Pillow guy? Miami Herald reporter Julie K. Brown asked. Well, imagine my relief that the My Pillow guy is on the job. Never Trump commentator Tom Nichols quipped. Well, first of all, I'm noticing some trends here. Seems like only anti-Trump people are going after the poor, innocent My Pillow guy, who obviously did nothing wrong. Don't know why the first three happen to be older female reporters, but that's kind of besides the point now. Basically, these are partisan attacks coming from biased liberals who already hate the president. And now, they're desperately attacking a Trump ally, too. Not realizing that attacking someone who is innocent, or worse, someone who is doing something great that will help us all, well, that's not a good look for you. It's like making fun of Superman for wearing a a red cape and tights. It's like, come on, dude, he's Superman. Not only has he literally done nothing wrong, he's also trying to help us all. He just saved a bus full of middle schoolers from falling off a bridge. But now you're going to attack the guy because he's wearing something you don't like and also he's friendly with the president you don't like? Absolutely absurd. Now, to get into these comments more specifically, well, the first two don't really have much to them at all. They just do this stupid liberal thing where they say something and just expect everyone else to get it. And this is, of course, symptomatic of people who never leave their starkly liberal bubble. The third comment actually does have some substance to it, though, suggesting an SNL skit should be made about all of this. And really, believe it or not, but I wouldn't mind it if that happened, actually. But it would have to be done in the past when SNL was actually funny and not totally liberal-dominated like it is now. An older SNL cast could have spoofed this story in good spirit. Surely there are ways to make fun of Trump and my pillow here, while also not taking it to dark and mean-spirited ways. Which Trump derangement syndrome suffering liberals often go to in their political sketches nowadays and in their late night comedy, which is really liberal propaganda now. Trump now has the guy from My Pillow doing a campaign commercial for Trump's 2020 campaign in the middle of a press conference about a deadly virus. How could any real news network air this BS? Stop airing Trump, Daily Beast and CNN opinion columnist Dean Abadala wrote, Look, it's hard to fill up 90 minutes worth of material every single day, so you need to get some sponsored material and infomercials. New York Magazine writer Jonathan Chait joked, 
Well, first of all, as I said before, if my pillow is going to divert 75% of their factory resources into making masks, a product we are running out of constantly now, well, then they actually deserve to get promoted a little bit. They earn this endorsement clearly. Just like how it makes sense for my pillow guy to now say, hey, we should vote to re-elect Trump too. Basically, the guy went off book here for a little bit, for a few lines, and then the anti-Trump people in the media are now trying to hang him. And then when you think about what they said about not airing this, well, that's when the iron really starts to set in. If the news media wants to refuse to air this stuff, then why can't Trump and his cohorts just do and say what they want then? Kind of a catch-22, but also, this is just another ploy the left is trying to come up with to make the My Pillow guy in his speech look bad. Really, the mainstream media can't stand that the president is speaking directly to the people at these press conferences. They believe the news should go through them, and when Trump goes around them, they feel threatened, as they should. But they really don't deserve to be gone through anymore since they've lied so much. And this is also why the news tries to double down and say, hey, we're not going to air this stuff anymore, not realizing that really doesn't matter and the people will hear what Trump says anyway. Not to mention, also, who even watches CNN, MSNBC, ABC, or NBC News anymore? I mean, I doubt anyone gets their news there anymore besides maybe senior citizens and possibly some people on layovers at airports. Finally, let's get to some other people who are actually defending Mike the My Pillow Guy, as they should. I applaud Mike Lindell for helping our country during this crisis by using his factories to make 50,000 N95 masks a day for our healthcare workers in need. This is not political, and you should do some serious soul searching if this act of patriotism is triggering you, Megan McCain said. Mike Lindell is a private citizen entitled to his own opinion. He is also being downright heroic for working to manufacture more masks. Real Clear News correspondent Philip Wegman tweeted, If you're angry at the guy shifting over his factory to produce 50,000 face masks a day for medical professionals, you're doing being human wrong, Ben Shapiro wrote. Well put all around, guys. And that's a lot coming from two of these pundits because although they're all conservatives, I think, some of them are also never Trumpers too. But at least they have enough decency and common sense to recognize a good heroic gesture when they see it. And they also know better than to make something political when it's really not. What do you guys think? Should the media be attacking someone trying to help like the My Pillow guy? Or should we be thanking him and giving him praise? And buying his pillows too? Why not? Also, where are all the liberal private citizens that should be helping right now? How come they aren't diverting resources at their factories? And how come rich celebrities aren't donating or supporting with help in their own ways? All they do is complain and do nothing. Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button to help support this channel and we'll see y'all next time.